Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Marriage, Money, and Mindset. We're your host, I'm Jared. And I'm Alexis. Welcome back, welcome back. We are here for another episode, episode 25 of Marriage, Money, and Mindset. Uh, as you can see, we are here in Montego Bay, Jamaica. We are here for another Marriage Club event, Marriage Club Escapes with Mauricio and Chris Sonny, the Sonnies. Um, if y'all been tuning in our channel, obviously y'all know who they are. Uh, they put on an annual retreat. Uh, this particular retreat was here in beautiful Montego Bay, Jamaica. We are at um, the Rio Palace yeah, in Montego Rio. Bay. Okay. And with this resort, you actually have access to all three resorts. So there's two neighboring right. reuse that you have access to as well. And as right. you can see, this is beautiful. Oh yeah, yeah. The water is amazing. The weather's been weather. amazing. The weather, yeah. the food. Oh, and the distance the service. to the airport. We're yeah, right man. there. It's like two minutes away. Yeah, yeah. It didn't take but yeah, literally two minutes to get here. Beautiful guys. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I would say this is definitely a resort if you're interested in traveling to Montego Bay, Jamaica, to come and check out. Everything here is pretty cool, man. The, the food, food has been great. The food was real good. And the man. entertainment has been on point too. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna kick this episode off, guys. So of course we are in the month of February right now. This is uh, our second series, our second part to our four-part love series on um, on love, right? Right. So this whole month we're gonna dedicate to, uh, dedicate to love, right? So we're gonna get right into it, guys, because uh, we do have some other activities we need to get into here in a little bit as well yeah. with the group. So this episode is gonna be a little short, little sweet, uh, a little short and sweet, uh, but we're gonna give y'all the value that we think y'all need, right? Okay. Right. If you tuned in right. last week, you know that we um, told you guys that we were gonna be discussing intimacy this right. week. So we're gonna get into that. Yeah, exactly. So okay, so. Um, let's get right into it. So this episode is intimacy in your marriage uh, or relationship, right? Mm -hmm. um, so what we're going to do today is talk about five ways intimacy can be categorized in your marriage, right? Because when you hear intimacy, a lot of people automatically go straight to the physical and relate just being intimate as intimacy. Sex. Right, sex basically. But there's other categorized ways that you can look at it, uh, different perspectives of intimacy that you can actually look at, right? Um, so you want to start us off? I'll let you kick it off. Okay. Yeah. And before we get started, um, we talked about this today in our group, in our session. Yeah, it was during the session, actually. That was pretty interesting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, um, one key thing that I think about with intimacy is into me you see. So it's getting mm -hmm. all the way vulnerable with your spouse, um, mm -hmm. letting go of all those layers, uncovering all the layers that they have, and just being able to see the real them. Yeah, exactly. All right. So this first form of intimacy is emotional intimacy, kind of what we're already hitting on. So that's sharing your feelings, thoughts, and vulnerabilities with a deep emotional connection. So right. that builds trust and understanding, fostering a strong emotional connection in relationships. Yeah, just expressing your emotions to your partner, right? Yeah. Uh, your feelings, you know, elaborating, you know, in person with them about the things that you're emotionally feeling right you know um yeah i mean just and having an understanding and um you know we, we actually did sessions on that you know right. um one you of know. my takeaways mm -hmm. was the naked moment the naked moment so exactly. that's, that ties that into emotional intimacy perfect mm -hmm. um we're learning this on the marriage club escape retreat um they talked about a naked moment so that's basically um kind of like a key a cold word Right. If I tell him I need to have a naked moment, he knows that he needs to drop everything and give me the floor to speak. And right. I'm allowed to speak about, or not allowed, but that's the time where I can speak about anything that's on my mind, anything that's bothering me. And he'll right. just listen and give me the floor and then we'll just have that talk. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So that's one form of intimacy, right? Right. Uh, let's talk about the second one. So physical intimacy. That's the one I think most people are familiar with, obviously, right? Physical. So, I like that one. Yeah, of course. I think we all like that one. <laughs> uh, so, of course, it involves touch, closeness, and sexual expression. It also encompasses various forms of touch mm -hmm. and closeness, ranging from holding hands 
to more intimate activities. So uh, it plays a crucial role in expressing affection and building a connection between individuals and a romantic relationship. Yeah. So something just like even something as simple as this, guys, you know, me just holding her leg while we're just sitting here talking, right. that could be an, ex an expression of a phys physical intimate moment, right? right. Um, you know, um, while we're walking, holding hands while we're walking, mm -hmm. you know, um, give me some more examples. I mean, um, I mean, sexual mm -hmm. was one of them for this one. So, yeah. I mean, just explore things with your spouse. Um, right. Figure out what you guys like and dislike. Okay. I don't think anything's off limits. I mean, just try stuff out. <laughs> see what you're comfortable with. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about the third, the third um, form of intimacy. Okay. Um, this one is intellectual, intellectual intimacy. Okay. So it's sharing ideas, thoughts, and engaging in stimulating conversation. So it deepens the connection by fostering a mutual understanding and appreciation for each person's intellect contributing to more of a profound and fulfilling relationship. So right. this is just getting deeper. Yeah, exactly. What else would you say with this one? Yeah, I mean, just important, you know, okay, ideas, goals in your relationship, sharing those types of things is intellect. You know, you're giving wisdom to your partner and vice versa, your partner's giving you wisdom. You know, when you learn something, you want to, you know, you want to share that with your partner. Like if you learn something new that you want to explore, mm -hmm. you know, a uh, business idea, um, yeah. you know, a diet. Um, yeah. um, um, Anything beneficial yeah. to you as a mm -hmm. person or you in your marriage. Right? You know, yeah, you share that with your partner so y'all can build intellectually together. You know right. what I'm saying? So that's very, that's a form of intimacy, right? You yeah. know, so that's another way you can look at intimacy is yeah. um, sharing wisdom with each other as well, which we do a lot of, by yeah. the way. Uh, so yeah, uh, number four, guys, we're gonna keep it rolling. Number four is spirit, spiritual intimacy. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is connecting on a spiritual or philosophical level, shared sharing beliefs and values. Right, uh, spiritual intimacy involves sharing and exploring one's beliefs, values, and existent aspects. Uh, did I say that right? <laughs> We're gonna keep it moving. Yeah. <laughs> it goes beyond religious aff affiliations, focusing on a shared sense of purpose, meaning, and connections to something greater, contributing to a profound bond in relationships. Okay. So, do um, you guys believe mm -hmm. in a higher power? Right. Um, do you share that belief, or do you have different beliefs right. around that? Something um, to talk about in your dating phase. You? Yeah, I think you know it's an important question to maybe consider asking when you're in a dating phase. You know, our belief system was. Um, uh, compatible right so uh, that wasn't an issue but uh, believe it or not guys some people have this issue in their marriage or their relationship and not it's an discovered issue necessarily but maybe you're yeah, not an issue but differences right. that's what I'm saying or a conflict or whatnot with it's, it's not something that can be resolved but it's not discussed it may not be discussed in the dating phase yeah. so it's important this is an important question to maybe consider asking when you're in the dating phase to get an understanding of their values and beliefs when it comes to their spirituality you know what I'm saying uh, it's very important to know what your partner uh, values, uh, uh, you know, pertaining to their spirituality, I would right. say, mm -hmm. you know, because you what you don't want to end up happening is y'all get married and y'all never had the discussion and realize that y'all are you have differences. Yeah. So something to consider, guys. Yeah. You know, basically, like we said, you know, it's very important to make sure you and your partner have that conversation in the dating phase. And of course, if y'all already passed the dating phase, it's OK. Talk about it now. These you know? things may change. I mean, nothing yeah. stays the same. You don't stay the same. So yeah, just exactly. because my beliefs were one way, because right. I came into this marriage based on the beliefs that I grew up with. So maybe exactly. your partner can open your mind to something new or you guys can learn something new together. So yeah, those exactly. things can always change. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's another point to make. Right. And this okay. last form of intimacy is experiential intimacy. So that's building closeness through shared activities and experiences, such as what we're doing now. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so it involves creating memories together, facing challenges, and enjoying various experiences. Okay. Uh, so one experience that we've had on this trip that's different, that we've never experienced, uh, what would you say? You know, the game night, well, we've done it before. Mm -hmm. um, what, what would you give me something that we've done here that's um, a different experience we, you would say I mean, that falls the, in this category? Just the place that we're at. We've never visited this resort before. Exactly. We have been to Jamaica a few different times. We right. love Jamaica. Right. But um, we haven't really done any excursions yet. 
Mm -hmm. So we still have a few more days here. You never know what we can get into. Right. Um, We've done so much already, though. Yeah, we like to do. We've done the, bam the bamboo river rafting. Yeah. Jet skis. Speed boats. I mean, we've done quite a bit, guys. You know, right. yeah. So we it's hard to find things that we things. haven't done already. Right. You know, like even the bungalows you see in the background, we stayed at those before in a different resort at not this particular one, but at Sandals in South Coast Jamaica, yeah. uh, which was pretty dope. You know, that was a that would be an example. You know, of this exper experiential um, intimacy. You know, staying in an over the water bungalow, right? Right. And I will say also, we already address that we're here with the group so just because we've done go. things together um or right. maybe you've done things that are individual like i've done an excursion that he's never done whenever we do it together it's still a new experience right same thing with the group we've done plenty of these things that are out here but we've never done it with this particular group so it calls for a whole new yeah. uh, memory yeah exactly there you go so yeah, guys, so like we said, you know, short and sweet video on this particular episode. But again, uh, uh, this whole month, we're gonna dedicate to love, okay? Um, so again, understanding and nurturing these different aspects, contributing to a well-rounded and fulfilling relationship. Um, so intimacy in your relationship, guys, those five categorized items, uh, go back and, uh, you know, talk to your spouses about these five different ways, you know, and both of y'all kind of share y'all's thoughts on how y'all feel about each one, right? So again, hey, we appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Um, tell a friend, tell a family member about our channel. Uh, we're creeping up there. We want to thank the new subscribers that have subscribed. Met a few folks out here that did subscribe, so we appreciate y'all. Uh, and make sure y'all tune in next week. Uh, we'll be filming part three. Uh, we're not going to tell y'all the title of that particular video just yet. We want to keep that a surprise for y'all. But See, I just homework. hold it tight and stay tight. <laughs> yeah, some homework for you guys today. Yeah. Go ahead and drop down in the comments below and tell us how do you keep the intimacy in your marriage or in your relationship? Yeah. What are some things that you've done before that were successful or some things that you guys want to try? Right. Maybe it's something that we've never tried. Yeah. So yeah. help us out. Drop a comment, guys. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get back to our vacation. we got some more activities coming up. So y'all stay tuned. We appreciate y'all tuning in. Marriage, Money, and Mindset. We'll catch y'all next week. Peace.